rapid and widely spreading diseases have long plagued humanity. Like COVID-19, ancient pandemics caused massive death and upheaval, changing the course of history. Certainly the Black Death in Europe in 1348 killed about 50% of Europe. So that's pretty bad. People long turned to myth, fantasy, and religion to explain the mystery and horror of contagion. In 15th century Italy, a respiratory illness sweeping through towns was blamed on the influence of hostile stars, granting influenza its name. In World War I, the swine flu virus was only around the last three to four months of the, of the war itself. There were eight times as many American soldiers buried in Europe who died from flu in those four months that died from the entire war over the course of those several years. We, as a species, not very good at planning for what you might call black swan events, events which are rare but have massive consequences. We have a tendency to discount the future. It's only a matter of time until another influenza virus as deadly as the 1918 strain emerges and begins to spread. But unlike in the past, we could be ready for it. When scientists, policymakers, manufacturers, industry people come together and the government supports, puts in the resources to be able to do this, how quickly you can go from zero to vaccinated. We want a vaccine that we don't have to update. We want to find a part of the flu vaccine that doesn't change so you don't have to update it. We want to be able to be kind of one and done the way we are with measles or mumps or rubella. What I'd like to see is a vaccine that you can use that will protect you against the unknown, protect you against the flu that you don't know you're going to come up against in five, 10 years. Now that we've had this coronavirus uh, pandemic, we need to be mindful that we could have more. I mean, the proof and concepts are already now here. And so uh, we need to continue to prepare for future ones.